and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me, Pierre Farrugia, because Angela and Paco couldn't make it, and I am in this beautiful valley called with Irda. My first question mark is, why is called with Irda? I think that many of you will know, so please comment below so everybody will know why it's called with Irda. Uh, today, apart from this beautiful uh, valley, we're going to explore three features of this valley. One of it is a big stone that when you bang it with a rock, it makes a noise like a church bell. Then we have the tomb of the English woman. And then at the end, we will find uh, the cave of the crosses. Or as they know it as well, it's uh, the cave of the pig, uh, Arhanzi. So let's start this adventure. We start this trek with some beautiful puppies. We have another one violet here, and another one here. This uh, valley is very rugged, and keep in mind that uh, it's like this because from here, when it rains, it has very high walls, and here there will be flood water. Eh? So take care because if it rains here, it's easily get caught in a flash flood, and you can be carried away. This I will show you what damage this water can do but look how pristine this area is it's beautiful eh? you can hear the birds here there's some breeze today and it's very sunny so i'm with t-shirt again eh? now let's continue this walk from what i can see here it's suitable for anybody but keep in mind that the the floor is very rocky I uh, advise that if you can get a trekking pole, it will be much better because uh, there's a lot of rocks and you are moving from one rock to another. Look what we find here. This is an iron bat that was crushed by the rocks and water passing from here. And even looking here, look how the uh, canes have been flattening down but maybe this could be with a car or something like that but it's very nice to walk eh? into the nature it's one of the best uh, places I've been to now. and you can see here uh, look this was part of a car eh? I think here if one wants to come in a relaxing uh, hike or walk or trip as you want to say here is a very good place to come it's a little bit rugged so keep this in mind i don't think there are any dangers like falling not fall, falling everywhere you can fall eh? but here uh, there's no heights involved well, this is the kind of terrain one will find here nothing uh, that nobody can do so as I tell you um, many times if I can do it 99% of you guys and girls can do it as well eh? so and as I always tell you if you don't try you cannot know This is the way we came from. Uh, this is the walls, very high walls, uh, and beautiful foliage. And there, uh, I don't know if you can see it, that big rock there is the rock that we're going to visit now. That rock, when you bang it with another rock, it will make like the sound of a church bell. But it's better we go and try this for ourselves. Eh? What do you think? Here, yeah, you have to jump from one stone to the other so take care but then as I told you before when you look at the views here how beautiful they are and we're getting closer to the big rock eh? this is the rock we're going to check and I think this is the rock we are looking for why because you can find some stairs here leading up to the stone look and that the big stone 
we climb those three steps are here and we have to move all our way up till the big rock eh? uh, here there are a lot of loose stones and this easily one can fall take care look how big this stone is and now we are making our way up this steep incline take care because the rocks are very low here and here we find this enormous rock how big it is it makes some sound but not well let's pick a big rock like this one and we go from here and we can bang on it eh, to see if this is the famous stone I have a rock in hand and we're going to try to check if this this stone they say they make uh, the sound of a church bell yes now let's try this one then. it's duller then we hit this one Amazing, yeah? It's like horror from the inside. So now, from this feature, we go all the way in the valley again to go to the English lady tomb. So let's go now. If anyone uh, watching this video knows why this rock makes this sound, I think it's because of the material of the stone but uh, this is what i think i don't know exactly so anybody knows please uh, comment below so we all learn from others people yeah. so i have to take care because here it's very slippery going down but this rock is enormous eh? what do you think There is this famous rock here and now we continue on this side Another interesting thing I found here everywhere you go in Malta you can find pottery But look at this pottery here I think it was a handle of some kind of amphora But if you look at the handle it has uh, like grooves in it it's beautiful eh? now there is that big rock that made that sound then if we turn 180 degrees maybe 100 to 100 meters from the big rock we can find that up there is the tomb of uh, the old english lady and i will explain it a little more, more when we arrive there here when looking into this wall we'll find this small entrance here this is called the tomb of the english lady and there are two theories or a myth about this place the first myth is that uh, an english lady was uh, riding her horse here the she fell from the horse died and they made a memorial for her and the, the second theory uh, that an english guy uh, wanted to make uh, a monument uh, to remember uh, all the atrocities he saw in uh, other countries so that's why we have this one it's very strange because if you see here there's no steps going up it's in a, a, about three to four uh, stories high from the ground it's very intriguing and it's a squarish layout uh, i can look inside and uh, it's about three meters in and two meters high and about 50 to 70 meters wide and uh, has this beautiful uh, arch or door carved into the the rock eh? amazing eh? this is how it looks from below eh? Let's continue our hike. 
And that is the tomb of the English lady. And look at this wall, how beautiful they are. Amazing, yeah? What do you think? I love those high walls. The features in this high does not stop here. Uh, apart from this beautiful valley. Now we're going to go and visit uh, Aris Lalebiskol, which is another beautiful cave and has a lot of history in it. Eh? Look how beautiful the walls of this valley are. Keep in mind when you see valley the steep that if it rains, here it will be all flooded and uh, most probably it will be done in a very short time. Look this wall, how steep they are. And how clean this part is. And look at the rocks here, how they are. I'm showing you all this stuff. So if you come here, you can be prepared what you're going to encounter. Another safety aspect to consider here coming along that you don't have cell service, mobile phone service. So if something happens, you cannot call for help. So just keep that in mind. Eh? Here we are nearly at the end of this high club. How beautiful these uh, lemon trees here. And here we have a very old farmhouse. Eh? If we look at this beautiful uh, hillside and we start going in, we will find the last feature of this area, which is our slalip. This I already covered in another video, but let's go to the first part of it. So if you don't know where it is, it's not easy to find it, though, because it's like hidden uh, into the vegetation. Let's go inside. This one is called Ar Hanzir or Ar Slalit. Hanzir because it's uh, said that they left a pig inside here and they couldn't find it because it got lost in here. And there is Lalit, because if you look, uh, everywhere you look here, it's full, of, it's full of crosses. Look how beautiful this cave is. And another thing is, if you see those ribs on the side, that they were carved manually, uh, they are like uh, the arches in a medieval church. Eh? So let's go inside and check it out. Look, one can walk inside here. Oh, yes, it is. And then there is this creepy, like somebody, somebody scratched the rocks or like with fingers. And if you look here, we have some signs as well. Eh? But see the whole video of this area. Because I did the video and even we explore inside there and even going out uh, the view is beautiful and this will end my vlog eh? show you a little bit around this cave eh? full of crosses look at this view eh? how beautiful it is eh? look at those all those ribs there eh? They are formed like uh, the arches of a church. Eh? It's a beautiful area. I love this cave. Eh? Plus it has some legends and history, which is always a plus. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. We're going to end the vlog here in this beautiful cave, which is Aris Lalev. Go to watch the video. I did a whole video on this area and I even explored inside there. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that small bell so you get notified of my new videos. Until next time, bye bye.